Hello everyone. My name is Brian and I'm from Team Online Language Exchange and I'm very excited to be here at my first polyglot gathering and really looking forward to the rest of the event. It's been very interesting so far. I'd also like to thank the organizer for such a fantastic job. So before I move on to talking about our language learning project, I'm going to quickly explain a little bit about who I am. So I'm from Dublin, Ireland. I speak English, Spanish, Portuguese, and a little bit of Irish and French. My goal for Portuguese and Spanish has been to be able to have a conversation, to be understood and to understand. Uh, I've learned on a very casual basis. Um, I wouldn't have the best grammar and I haven't attended many classes. So that give you an idea to my approach. It's been very much based around picking up bits and pieces as I go. Um, I started learning on a trip in my very early 20s to Latin America that inspired me to continue to learn. So the idea has always been to be able to communicate with native speakers and to be able to travel and explore different cultures and countries. So I'm very passionate about events, meeting people, uh, languages, travel and, and having a good time. I've been working with education, entertainment, um, lots of different types of events, such as festivals and concerts and nightclubs, um, cultural, corporate um, and, and community events, mostly working with international communities here in Dublin and Ireland. So my life is very much a part of my work. I'm very lucky that I can do what I love for a living and that I, I get to enjoy it on a day-to-day -day basis. So that brings me to what I'm here to talk about today, which is the online language exchange. So I've been organizing events for people to practice and improve the language they're learning with native speakers for the last nine years. And as you can see on the slide there are some of our stats. So we have run 100 online events with over 12,000 participants and then over 800 offline events with over 50,000 participants. So my team and I, <sighs> have loved organizing these events and are really motivated to continue to run these events, both online and offline. We've had a wonderful journey so far and have really enjoyed the whole community atmosphere. So I'm going to give you a rundown of the story so far. So that last nine years from, from start to finish and bring you right up to date and explain you know how we've come to where we are how it works hopefully convince you to join one of our events and then see where we can go from this in the future so it all started back in 2012 when a friend and i set up a spanish english exchange in a pub in dublin the idea was that people could come down meet native speakers practice the language they're learning have a bit of fun we organized it in a very structured way because we felt that that was the way that people would benefit the most from the event. So from the very start, we had a lot of success in success in, in terms of popularity and feedback and people were really enjoying the events and of course, getting their educational and social fix. So we started as a Spanish English exchange. Then we saw that people were looking for more languages. So we added a French English exchange, then a Portuguese English exchange and an Italian English and so on. We then grew to more venues, uh, more days, and we were really starting to build a vibrant community of language learners and people were coming down and getting really involved and the team really got behind the events. So. Before we knew it, we had a lot of stakeholders coming and getting involved. So we had uh, language schools, and universities and societies and all different types of organizations. And it all tied in very nicely with the events we were running 
as I mentioned, the the um, events company, which was called Real Events. Um, so we were running the events in Dublin originally. Um, we also set up the events in Cork. We also did short stints in Rio de Janeiro and New York as one of the team members moved there and set up the events, which again were very popular um, with the communities over there. So we have had a lot of fun over the last nine years. Uh, lots of interesting stories, um, friends located now all over the world. And just in general, a lot of satisfaction from running these events. Prior to the pandemic, it was three nights a week in Dublin and one night a week in Cork. We could have anything from 60 to 140 people attending. But then come March 12th, 2020, it all came to a sudden stop. So you can see here, I've got some images there, some of the images from the events. Um, and there you can see the different cities we were set up in. So you can get an idea just from looking at those pictures, how the events looked. So that brings me up to the beginning of the pandemic when we set up the online language exchange. So of course, pandemic arrives, everyone is told to stay at home. All our events were canceled, but postponed. Venues were closed, streets were empties, but we had our, our community, our active community of dedicated language learners who wanted to continue to you know, practice the language they were learning and meet new people. And, and more than ever, because they had extra time um, there was a, a lack of, of social engagement for a lot of people as they were told to go home and stay at home. So I was in touch with a ex-language exchanger from Dublin and a friend, um, Dara, who had set up Language Exchange Switzerland um, and had Language Exchange Switzerland running in five cities. And myself and Dara had a, had a chat and said, right, the, you know, I, I have it in there on the slide. The language learning fund must go on. So we decided to follow the trend of going online and, and setting up the events online and to continue to provide for our communities. So we set our assumptions. Um, could we create a similar experience online? Did our communities want to come online? Would they stay when they came on? Would they tell their friends? Um, could we scale it? Could we make it a sustainable project? And we got to work. So I'm going to tell you all about the online language exchange now. So how do the events work? The events are very simple in terms of getting involved. You register on our website. We get your name, your email address, your target languages, your native languages. And then we send you an email for the link to the event. You join the event. They take place on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Sundays at 6.15 p.m. Irish time. All you need to join is a device and an internet connection. Once you click on the link that we email you, you're brought to the main area. Here we'll explain how the event works. And in the meantime, we create lots of different breakout rooms. The, the structure is very simple. There are not many rules. You just have to follow the structure. Um, and you need to leave your camera on for the duration of the event. So how it works is we place you in small groups with native speakers of the language you're learning. You speak 10 minutes of your fluent language. 10 minutes of your target language, then you move to a new group to meet different people and do the same again. So the duration of the event is one hour and 30 minutes. How to know when to change the language and when you're going to be moved, we send notifications that pop up on your screen. So the event is, is dynamic, it's very structured, and it's a, it's a great place to meet multiple native speakers of the language you're learning. We don't have any set topics. We do give some suggested ideas prior to the event, but they're not set topics. What we ask from our participants is that they respect each other, they encourage each other, they support each other, and everyone 
is there to practice the language they're learning and, and have a bit of fun. So that's the main idea. At the end of the event, then we bring everyone back to the main area. We sometimes have some talks. We do some quizzes, polls. We get feedback. Uh, if there are teachers or someone who wants to let the group know about anything that might be going on, such as courses or classes or other events or anything at all, there's a chance for people to speak. And in general, we have, we have good community engagement at the end of the events. So that's how the events work. Now I'm going to move on to let you know more about why you should join. So there you go. You can see our team. Um, top left is Raquel, my wonderful wife from uh, Belo Horizonte, Brazil. To the right of her is Taina, who is a Brazilian living in Argentina. And Juan is in the bottom left. Juan is a Venezuelan living in Dublin. And bottom right is myself. As I mentioned earlier, I am from Dublin, Ireland as well. And we've been working together on this project. All of us have been, have been working together for six years now. So we're a really tight team and, and we really do enjoy the events. So the reasons to join. The main reason to join this event is to practice the language you're learning with native speakers. <coughs> and, you know, it is common knowledge that practicing speaking the language you're learning Will, will massively boost your language learning journey. Uh, and true language exchange with native speakers is, is probably the best way. So setting up a language exchange though can often present um, many questions and, and potential issues at times, such as who will I speak to? Where will I find the person? What day will we do? What time? Uh, on what platform, how will we structure the event, um, what will we talk about. Then there's, you know, what happens if the person doesn't show up or what happens if the person says something awkward or um, what happens if you just don't get on with the person. Um, and, and also some people might want to speak to multiple people rather than one person. So there's a lot of decisions that need to be made. And we try to, to take all those decisions off you and like I said, the registration is simple. You fill in the form and you get sent a link and then you enter. And we have organized, you know, the multiple partners to practice with. We've set the time and the day, also the platform. We are running the event with a structured system. So we do the timing. We do the moving of participants throughout the event. And uh, we, we just facilitate that language exchange. Um, in, in a very structured manner. So as I said, you speak 10 minutes of your fluent language, 10 minutes of your target language, then you move to a new group. And of course, you're meeting real people who are on the other end of the, on the other line and you're having real life conversations. So you're putting the language you're learning into, into practice in, in real life situations. And of course, because we have so many people connecting from all over the world, you're getting these cross-cultural conversations which is, which is really beneficial, not only just for the language, but also for the understanding of the communication and, and how, to, how to approach the conversation in many different ways. So it is dynamic. The community that comes is very much a fun group of people. It's very friendly, it's supportive, it's safe. And, and the safe thing is something I'd like to highlight because, you know, you can come across a lot of issues when looking into organizing language exchanges there. I've, I've heard reports of harassment and lots of other issues, but we do create a safe environment. Um, also, when you connect with our events, there's no pressure, there's no evaluation. Um, everyone's in the same boat, everyone's learning the language. So you don't have to worry if you know, you're right or you're wrong. And mistakes are welcome. We encourage people to say, say whatever they're trying to say. And even if it's wrong, just say it. You're better off saying something uh, wrong than not saying anything at all. So it is, it's very much about just getting more confident and more comfortable speaking the language you're learning. And, and we do hear from participants all the time that they're increasing their confidence within the language they're learning. Um, all levels are welcome to join. So whether you're a complete beginner or, or fluent in the language, you can benefit. 
we operate on a drop-in system. So there's no contract or obligations to join. It's very simple and straightforward. Um, and then as, I, as I've mentioned with the stats at the start, you know, we have proven that this system works online and offline. And we have people who are continuously returning to us. Um, people who have been with us from the very start from nine years are still getting involved. And the, also, uh, I'd like to note that, you know, we are very friendly organizers. We're, we're there to help you. We listen to everyone who joins in terms of their feedback and what they would like. And, and we build our strategy based on what the users and the participants want. So I'm going to move on to now the community because without the people, these events wouldn't exist. So I'm going to describe just a little bit about the community. So we have a really wide range of ages connecting. So we have people, everyone's an adult, it's, it's over 18s, but we have people who are in all different age groups. And at every event, we would have a good few people who are uh, 65 plus as well. So it is really uh, inclusive. We, we, we're open to everyone. We've got people connected from all over the world. We've had over 50 different nationalities attend. Um, and with that comes lots of different cultures. Uh, like I said, you can join with any level. So we have a lot of different levels. And then we've got people who are interested in many different things. And it really is fascinating to see the conversations that go on at the events. You know, they're really interesting and, and, and insightful and a lot of fun. You'll hear me continuously say the word fun because it is very much a part of the event structure and strategy and com all the different components. And, uh, and the people are fun, you know, they're outgoing, they're curious and, and above all, they're dedicated because they are connecting. And by connecting alone, you're, you're showing your interest in learning the language. Uh, the languages we have, at each event, we would have speakers of... English, Spanish, French, Portuguese, Italian, German, Japanese, Chinese, Arabic, Russian, um, Irish, and, and sometimes more depending on who shows up. And then we match people based on the availability and, and, and what they put into their registration form. So we have people who connect every week. We've got people who connect every month we've got people who, who just drop in drop off and then some people will be with us for a while and we mightn't see them for a year or two then they come back so it really is based on when you want or need to join you can join and um, at the events there's a great opportunity to give and get tips so whether it's uh, movies or documentaries or videos to watch or language learning resources or apps or places to go or food or music or drinks, whatever it might be, the native speakers will be able to give you a, a, a lot of tips that you can then incorporate into your language learning journey. So it is very much a social and educational event. And we have people who have connected with each other and become good friends. And they might be in different parts of the world from completely different parts of the world. And we really do cherish those global friendships. They, we have had people who have been married. We have had people who have played uh, football teams together, who've gone on holidays together. The, the, the list goes on of, of fascinating stories. Uh, as I mentioned, we have a team that are very involved in the community. All of the team members are language learners and passionate about meeting people and um, about events and entertainment and all the different parts of the organization we're running. So the team is very important for these events. So I'm going to move on to our next slide. Then you can see some of the photos from the event. So at the top, you'll see the main area um, when we have everyone at the start of the event and then at the end of the event. And then below is a photo from one of the breakout rooms. Um, and those smiles really do make us so happy. And we're delighted to see them at every event. So if you're interested in joining our events, we're going to do a, 
event this Saturday at the Polyglot Gathering. So if you go onto the program platform, you're able to get a link. You need to register and we will email you a link. So this is a custom event in that we have fit into the time slot. So rather than speaking 10 minutes of your fluent language, 10 minutes of your target language, and then moving group, you're going to speak five minutes of your target language, five minutes of your fluent language, and then move group. That's just so we can fit it into the uh, polyglot gathering um, program. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We'd love you to come along. You'll definitely be able to get a feel for how the events work and, and, and get a feel for how the platform looks. So do, please, we'd love to see you this Saturday. Come along. Um, outside of this Saturday, we'd love you to hear from you. We'd love you to come down and try an event. If you are looking for language partners, definitely come along you get a chance to practice the language you're learning and you get a chance to join into the community. And I'm sure that once you join, you will continue to join as many, many people do. Also, if you have any questions at all about the event, please do feel free to get in touch. The next slide, I'm going to have our contact details, but we love to hear from people. Um, whether it's questions about the event or also feedback from the event or suggestions or any ideas at all, um, we're also reaching out to anyone else who thinks they could add something to the community. If you're a teacher or you're working in an educational institution, whatever it might be, we really would love to hear from you. And um, we're also fully open to any partnerships at all. And um, the door is open. So please do come along um, and get in touch. So I'm moving on now to our contact details so you can see our website there it's online language exchange.com and we're also on instagram at online language exchange we're also on facebook and meetup as well so if you search online language exchange you'll see us there um, and below i have our email address so to finish up the talk i would just like to say thank you very much for listening to me um, I hope I have given you a very good idea of how our events work and, and hopefully convince you to come along. Um, and again, I would just like to thank the organizers for such a fantastic job and for giving us the space here to talk about the project we're running. Um, I really do believe we're onto something very special and would love to see you soon. So um, again, this Saturday, we have the event within the Polyglot Gathering, and then our events are also on every Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday. So thank you very much, and I hope to see you again soon.